You know what they say, better late than never. Here is a long overdue project that I've been working on. It's a decorative Christmas tree made of plywood with LEDs that gently fade in and out. It is designed to be placed on a shelf or on a table and it is powered from USB, so you can use an ordinary cell phone charger or a power bank. I also chose to use an Arduino to control the LEDs. Now let me show you how the whole thing came together. The first thing that I needed was a concept of how my Christmas tree was going to look. While browsing through Pinterest I came across this collection of free graphics and one of the designs caught my attention. Then I made a 3D model in SketchUp. This is how I imagined it at first. I wanted a tree in the front with LED lights in it and behind it was going to be a slightly larger background of the same triangular shape. Eventually I changed this design by removing the base part that separated the front and the back piece. I had a piece of plywood laying around, it was 1cm thick, so that's what I ended up using for this project. The size of the tree was adapted to fit the piece of plywood, but you can make yours as big or as small as you want. Once the outlines of all pieces were drawn, I took out my jigsaw and cut them along the lines. After that I took the front piece and drew two more lines, running from the peak down to two points about 2cm away from the base. Later these two lines were my guide when I marked the slits that I was also going to cut. I wanted the tips of all slits to be along these lines. I ended up drawing, then erasing, then drawing again these slits with a pencil several times until they looked as close as possible to what I had in my 3D model. Then finally I cut them out very carefully with my jigsaw. Here are the cut pieces side by side. The one on the right is a base that I later chose not to use. Then I sanded down all surfaces to a nice smooth finish. I sand it in between the slits as well using a folded piece of sandpaper. By this point I had already decided that I wanted both pieces glued together because I didn't want any wires to hang between them. However, this also meant that I had to remove some of the wood to make room for all the LEDs and the wiring. So I took out my Dremel tool and started carving. I ended up removing about half of the thickness of the plywood, but noticed that I left a nice thick margin all around. Next I drilled the holes for the LEDs. I did my best to make these look random and well spaced out. Using my Dremel tool I carved out some more material around the hole to make room for all the LEDs. I made the holes large and deep enough to have the LEDs slightly sticking out. Then I stained the front piece green to give it some color. One coat was enough and I made sure that the sides and the slits were also covered. The back piece wasn't treated with any paint or stain. While the stain was drying I took out some colored LEDs. 21 of them, one for each hole. I was also going to need a resistor for every LED, so I got 21 resistors rated 220 ohms. To solder the resistors to the LEDs more easily, I cut the long leg of every LED and twisted it to make a tiny hook. Then I did the same with the resistors and soldered the connection. To avoid short circuits, I put heat shrink over every resistor. Eventually all 21 LEDs were ready, so I placed them in their holes, making sure that the colors were evenly spaced. Then I mixed up some two component glue and glued all the LEDs in place. To make things more interesting I separated my LEDs into two groups and each group was going to be controlled individually by the Arduino. Keep in mind that with LEDs you have to observe polarity. Unlike resistors, LEDs cannot be connected any way you want. The long leg always goes to positive and the short leg goes to ground or negative. Wiring this whole setup was a long and tedious job but I got it done by the evening. It wasn't pretty. But that didn't matter much because all of these wires were going to be hidden between the two pieces of the Christmas tree. At this point I drilled two small holes in the back piece and ran the two pairs of wires through them. Applying 5 volts to each pair made the corresponding LEDs light up. Of course I made sure that all the LEDs worked before gluing everything together. On the next day I glued the front and the back pieces using some quick drying wood glue. Just a few clamps were enough to get this job done. 
Then I coated the front side with spray lacquer. I did not apply any to the back piece because I still had to glue some kind of support. While the lacquer was drying, I took out my Arduino board. If you don't know what Arduino is, think of it as a small, low power and easy to program computer. Explaining how an Arduino works is beyond the scope of this video, but here's what my code looks like. It creates a very subtle fade-in and fade-out effect that is slightly different for each LED group. Since I didn't want to use the entire Arduino board for this project, I made my own Arduino board that had only the most basic components, plus a micro USB port. It was much cheaper this way. My board has a socket for the chip that holds the code, so if I ever want to change the blinking pattern of the LEDs, I can always reprogram the chip after plugging it back into my genuine Arduino board. Now a few words on how the Arduino controls the LEDs. I'm using two of the output pins of the chip, one for each group of LEDs. These have to be pins that support PWM, and if you don't know what that is, you will find out very soon after you start learning about Arduino. Since the chip is not powerful enough to drive 10 LEDs at the same time, each pin is connected to the base of an NPN transistor. The signals from the pins control the amount of power going through each transistor. Decreasing or increasing this power creates the fading effect. Both the chip and the LEDs are driven by the same 5 volt power supply. Since my Christmas tree needed some kind of support at the back, I glued two short pieces of plywood. To secure the board to the back, I used standoffs about 12 mm in height. These were glued directly to the wood, but first I drilled small holes for them to fit in. Next, I wrapped the wires and standoffs using painter's tape and sprayed the back with lacquer for protection. Once the lacquer was dry, I could finally hook up my board and power it on. And what do you know, it works! My Christmas tree is finally complete. I know it's already the middle of January, but I really wanted to show you how this project turned out, and I hope that you learned a thing or two along the way. As always, the comments section below is open if you want to ask a question, or if you have any suggestions on how this project could have turned out better. And if you liked this video, feel free to share it and to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching!